What's up you guys, Dan here from the Headwaters Kayak Shop and behind me I have a 2019 and a 2020 Lure 10. For 2020 they updated a few things on the Lure 10 and I just wanted to put the two boats side by side and uh, show you what some of the updates are and what you can expect when you get a 2020 Feel Free Lure. So to the right is a 2019 and you'll notice it's my demo. I didn't have any new ones to compare. Uh, we're at a point now in our season where we're closing out all our 2019 stock and even our demo boats are going to be closed out. But I have this one left so I thought it would be a good opportunity to put them side by side, compare a couple things. One thing you're going to notice about the 2020 is a brand new color. It's coming in fire camo and ocean camo. And what I think is really cool is they actually brought the price down. That never happens in this industry. It seems like the price is always going up but the 2020 is actually gonna be retailed at $8.99. I think it got a lot of competition last year from the Big Fish 105, and a couple of things that put the Big Fish 105 ahead of the lure was the sonar pod, the ability to rig a fish finder. You see, so last year it was just this simple little hatch, and it's just a place to store your stuff. This year they went ahead and did the sonar pod like they do on the lures, so you've got waterproof gaskets for your wires. Um, it shoots straight through the hole, what you will notice, for 2020, you have the ability to add a rudder. You can see it's all pre-plumbed and ready to go. So it's about a $200 upgrade to get the beaver tail rudder. And this will swap right over, basically exactly like a Big Fish 105. So last year, they did not have that. It was just a flat handle. And a lot of people wanted that rudder. It just gives you another point of control on these kayaks. Uh, Feel Free wanted to stay competitive. And they did the things they needed to do to really make this boat have a place in the market. At $8.99 for a boat that you can put a rudder on. It has a sonar pod, has a feel-free gravity seat. This thing has 10 different points of adjustment that you can bring up or you grab the lever, you can drop it down low. So a lot of versatility, a lot of height adjustment. It's got the reinforced standing platform. And what I like about the feel-free versus the big fish is this is actual foam. It's not just plastic. They have a plexiglass piece that goes down and they attach the foam to the plexiglass. Feel free proprietary tracks all around the boat so you will have to use a feel free track adapter if you're using yak attack accessories uh, big molded handles that are in the boat all the way around on the sides the back as well as the front handle here and another thing that i like over the big fish 105 is interior storage you can actually get down inside of this boat and store your stuff or bring a big dry bag and even though it's a 10 foot boat they still put a pretty large storage hatch on there which is really nice so there are the two boats side by side you guys if you have any more questions go ahead and leave those in the comments i will try my best to get back to them and if you're in the market for a used boat this little guy right here is going to be going for 650 bucks that's a 2019 demo pretty much every kayak that we sell we have a demo of and this is the time of year labor day weekend until about august 14th that we blow out all of our old demo inventory. In fact, I'll just take you guys for a little walk. This is my messy, messy warehouse. Every boat we sell, whether it be a sea kayak, wreck kayak, fishing kayak, pedal drive kayak, you name it, even a bunch of YouTube projects like a, I got a topwater PDL that I'm gonna be reviewing and comparing to a native. I got a, a Pelican catch over there that you guys will see a future video on. The, the blade that I bought from Dick's Sporting Goods, that one's hanging out, as well as some of my own personal boat collection. I got some of my old canoes here. Um, ah, this one, you, I haven't, you guys haven't seen this one yet either. This is a little lifetime that I'm gonna be reviewing shortly. Lots of projects, not enough time. But I tell you what, in the next few months, that's all gonna change because we're moving to a new spot. I say we, my family's moving to a new spot where we're gonna be closer on the water and really focusing more on this channel. I wanna have a catalog of good information that when somebody's getting into the sport, they can find our channel and, and know that they're getting good quality information, whether it be about what kind of kayak should I buy? What's the difference in paddles? Um, you know, What's the difference between a thermoform or a rotomolded molded or a composite kayak? And what would I use it for? You know, there's just so much to this sport. And a lot of times when people are starting off, it can be daunting, it can be confusing. And uh, I, I don't want people to get caught in the weeds. I really want to get people out there on the water into the sport. And I feel like we have a voice in this industry. And I really want to focus on using that voice to get more people into the sport. So that's what the next six months is going to be about. If you're not already, please consider subscribing to this channel because we have a lot of really exciting times ahead of us. 
I think we're gonna wrap it up today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you guys are in Northern California and you wanna take advantage of some of these used deals, do me a favor, hit me up at the shop, 209-224-8367, or you can always uh, shoot us an email from the website, headwaterskayak.com. And we appreciate you guys so much for supporting the shop, supporting this channel. You guys are phenomenal. If you're out of state and you still wanna support us, do me a favor, buy a shirt, buy a hat. You know, our Teespring counts, link below. All that little stuff helps, or if you, uh, want to purchase some accessories from us on the website headwaterskayak.com we'll ship those out thank you guys for your continued support this community we've created is beyond any expectations i ever had so i uh, just wanted to stop and give thanks for a minute Till next time this is dan wishing you happy paddling we'll see you on the next one